Welcome to my channel. I wanted to share some thoughts about being in flow state, what it actually means to be in a flow state and what, how to embody that and what that actually looks like and feels like. Because there's something I'm discovering as I'm going about my day um, and just going about my daily life and I'm really noticing and realizing what it truly means to be in flow. And like, what are we in flow with, right? That's the question. Well, you're in flow with the current energy. You're in flow with the present moment, with what currently is in your life, in your surroundings, um, just as a whole, everything that you're experiencing. Because as I'm observing my life and I, I do these like sort of observation exercises quite a bit with myself throughout my day and I'm constantly actually paying attention to my state of being, my state of well-being, and how I'm feeling in every given moment. And I'm recognizing that being in the state of flow is actually bliss. That is the experience of bliss. And that you can experience bliss on a daily basis just by simply aligning yourself to a certain state of allowing by complete surrender. It's 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 just it's like a letting go that's what I'm recognizing and the more that I can let go of control the more that I can let go of my desire to control certain things in my life um, to have like a certain particular outcome the more that I'm in this state of flow the more that I'm embodying a state of flow and what that really looks like for me is just constantly being present with myself. It's the only way that I can put it. It's just this constant sense of presence with myself and and feeling in the moment, feeling and being and living and experiencing the moment. I'm not trying to rush ahead to the future too much. I'm not trying, I'm not um, looking backwards. I'm not, you know, reminiscing over the past or what has happened. It's more just about truly embodying flow. And when I'm in that state, and sometimes it's, it's absolute, like, I can't even put it into words, the, the feeling that I get. But the feeling that always keeps coming to mind is bliss. It is absolute bliss to be in that state, to to not resist anything that is outside of me or to not resist anything that is currently in my experience and just to be open to allow and to receive everything that the universe wants to deliver to me, for me, right? And I watched a really beautiful movie last night and it really truly inspired me and helped me to understand that how incredibly precious every moment is, how incredibly precious it is to, to choose happiness, to choose to be free of fear, to choose to be unburdened by things we can't control. It's like magic. <laughs> I can't sometimes it really is difficult to put it into words like how incredibly magical life can be when you just allow and you know it's not to say that I don't have like negative thoughts arising within me it's not to say that I don't have you know doubtful thoughts arising within me but when they arise now there's just a whole different like quality to them and I, I feel this separation from it I feel this disconnect from it and I feel how it's no longer me. That's just, it's not the new embodied version of myself doesn't resonate with those thoughts and those feelings that arise. And like I said, it doesn't mean they don't arise. It just means that I don't react to it the same way. I don't even respond to it in the same way. Now it comes up and I'm just like, oh, that again. Okay. <laughs> and I, I'll just breathe and I, and I remind myself to recenter and to focus my energy and bring it back here into the present moment because only the present moment is real. And I keep getting this like really strong feeling every time fear pops up that it's it's an illusion. That all those fearful thoughts are an absolute illusion. They are a lie. It is not even reality. And when I really think about it in a logical sense, that makes perfect sense because it is false. It, it's, it's just a figment of my imagination. There's just... 
you know, thoughts that will come up in your head that will convince you of things. And if you, if you get pulled into it and get sucked down that rabbit hole, it really will take you down into a really dark place within you. But if you just surrender and say, that's bullshit, that's, it's a lie, that's not real, that's not my truth, and that's not the present truth, because if I'm right here in this very moment, then in this very moment, I have so much to be grateful for. There are so many beautiful things in my everyday experiences, like the butterfly that just appeared out of nowhere in my house, you know, three days ago. And and this morning, actually, I set her free. I just, I opened up the door and um, she was on my finger and, and I just, I said, here you go. Like, if you want to be free, you can be free. And, and just watching the butterfly fly away was, it was like magical to me. And I know these are maybe to the average eye or to the average person, just like, yes, yeah, so what's the big deal? The butterfly flew away. But to me, this is, it's a miracle, man. Like a mir it's a miracle to me that the fact that the butterfly even showed up in my house, like from where? There are no butterflies outside here in the Northern Hemisphere. It's too fucking cold. <laughs> like spring is just starting, you know, we don't have warm weather yet. You know, I'm just noticing kind of like the first flies and I, I think I saw a bee the other day, right? So they're just starting to come out, but you certainly don't see butterflies yet. And this one just appeared and it appeared at nighttime in my house. It didn't fly in from anywhere. It literally was put here by spirit. It was like this confirmation. It's not the first time that this has happened to me. It happened to me in January 2020 as well. Right in the beginning of the year it happened. Right at the year the pandemic started. So transformation is, is definitely at hand. And every time the butterfly shows up for me now, I it is truly a miracle. And I was explaining to my little girl that do you see how God works in such mysterious ways and how such an, an intimate, tiny little thing like a butterfly showing up in your house can be just like, oh, cool. Or you could really see it through different eyes and recognize the magic that is in that moment and, and being present with it. And I was feeding it the last couple of days. It had some strawberries and it had some oranges and you know, and I've been taking care of it. And, and like I said, this, it was just fluttering so much around the window and flying. Like it really felt to me like it wanted to break free. And I just, I allowed it. And when I released it and it flew off my finger, it was like this, it's like I freed my own soul when I did that in that moment. It was like a freeing of my own heart, of my own transformation and, and like an allowing of it. And yeah, that's, it's a deep way of looking at things, but that's how I look at things because, because being in flow is bliss. It's truly magical to just be in the moment and to feel this kind of happiness, to feel this kind of contentment and to feel this kind of support and this love and this being taken care of and, and being held up by spirit. Like it's such a, like it's it's making me emotional just to even say it. it. It's such a beautiful way to live. And this is what is missing. And this is what needs to come back. It, it needs to be brought back. And I think when humanity understands that and when we start to live life in this way then we're going to truly start to recognize how beautiful life on earth actually is but we have to choose it and we have to be able to look through different lens and look at the world and our life in a completely different way so Think about how you look at the world and what you recognize to be magical or not magical in your own life. Thank you for watching.